Hello everyone, I want to show you more astral projection mantras from the Gnostic tradition. I previously showed you two mantras specifically for astral projection. The first one was Fa Ra On on this video that you can see on the screen. Um, and I have told you that I had much success with it and I was I have been very happy since I've released that video that many other people have had success with that mantra. And even if they didn't fully come out of body, they maybe had a very vivid dream or a lucid dream, or they came out of body for just a little bit. And that was enough to help them on their path, on their journey, staying optimistic, uh, motivated, and uh, gaining this will to deepen, exploring this astral body of ours that we can use every night. And I've also showed you the mantra Egypto or pronounced Egypto. And that is really not so much for when you are going to sleep, but it's a general meditation or astral projection meditation mantra to help you develop the energetic faculties of your energy body. So we won't look at those mantras here. I've made videos for those already. If you want to see those videos and hear more guidance and advice about those specific practices. But here I want to show you five different mantras that you can use. And these are all used as you go to sleep and you lull yourself to sleep with them, okay? So it's a sort of conscious sleep practice, a dream yoga, okay? Now I do recommend perhaps seeing the Farah own mantra first because I give more advice like that. But here I simply just want to give you these extra mantras which will help. Now, don't worry about doing any of these mantras exactly the way I am doing them. Or don't worry too much about whether you have to do it vocally or mentally. Okay, for all of them, you can simply first do them vocally as you go to sleep. And then as you become more tired, you can do it quieter and quieter until you start doing it mentally and you really start going into the sleep dream state. And then once you feel you are in between the waking vigil state and the sleeping dream state, in between that very narrow point, then you can simply get up and go to where you intend. Now, as you've probably heard me say in the past, it doesn't matter if you miss that point. Hopefully, depending on your level of consciousness, your level of willpower, at some points in the middle of the night, you will experience something. So again, don't worry if you're not pronouncing it exactly the way I'm pronouncing it. If you feel in your being to do it a slightly different way, that is absolutely fine. The focus is not on analyzing and overthinking about the mantra. It's just about doing the mantra and the main practice is maintaining your conscious intent and willpower as you move into the non-physical, sleeping, dreaming, astral state, as you go and pass into that non-physical dimension of consciousness every night as you go to sleep, okay? So, the first one I want to show you is La Ra, okay? Let's make this a little bigger. La Ra. Now, this is pronounced as La Ra. Again, don't worry about whether you breathe in between or not. You can do it whatever way that suits you. And also, if you're doing it mentally, don't worry about breathing along with the mantra. You can do that, but you can also just let your physical body breathe automatically as it should, and you just mentally recite the mantras, you know, totally separate to the physical body. Because really, our intent is to identify with the non-physical energy body. 
and not the physical body. We want, we want to completely let go. We want to completely forget about the physical world and not identify with it at all. So for this mantra, you don't have to inhale between the two. You can also just do la ra. Okay? Lull yourself to sleep with it. It's like a lullaby. Lull yourself. Soothe yourself with it. With faith that you will come out of body. Now, with this mantra, you can also add at the end, okay? Now I'm going to show you, you know, more variations like this and different mantras. It doesn't matter which one you do. You feel in your heart, your instincts, your intuition, whichever one you like. Just go which, whichever one that you feel is best for you, or you can experiment over the weeks or days, whichever one works for you most, okay? So this one is pronounced... La ra and you just keep repeating and repeating. Now with the s part, especially, oh, at least in my experience, you may be able to begin to hear Something like a peaceful whistling in your brain, or compressed air, or the singing of bugs, or crickets, or flutes, okay? It's a sound. It's also known as the anahata sound, or the anahat sound. I'll leave some resources below for you to uh, further study, but yes, you may be able to hear this. So... Another mantra, more simply, out of this is, you can also just do, let me move this, uh, this woman here, you can also just do s by itself, simply doing the sweet sound of the s sound, like a very gentle whistle, soothing the mind, s okay? It doesn't have to be so powerful. It just has to be the sound of the faint whistle. And also, if you can't roll your R's, like, well, then you can simply just do, okay? Just like taught in the Farah Own mantra. But also, if you're doing it mentally, it should be easier to feel or hear mentally that you're doing the rolling sound of the R, okay? But don't struggle. Remember that anything to do with astral projection practice should not create mental agitation, mental constriction, or mental frustration, or irritability, all right? We should be totally calm, totally peaceful, enjoying the practice, and enjoying sleep. Okay, letting the physical body enjoy sleep, but also not identifying with the physical. So the next one is quite nice. Uh, it reminds me of like a bell, and it is Tai Re Re Re, like this. Okay, the Tai is like hitting the bell, and then it sort of um, reverberates with the Re Re Re. Okay, for this, you don't roll any R's, and you just make sure that the re 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 is a higher pitched tone than the tie, okay? So once again, you just lull yourself to sleep mentally with this mantra, having faith and trust that it will awaken you consciously within your astral body as you go to sleep. So let me demonstrate. Tai re 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 Okay, it doesn't matter so much if you do the re 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 like more than three times. You can just be like tai re 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 re, tai re 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 re, tai re 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 re. So as I said before, we should not be mentally agitated. 
So just do it however you can uh, in the moment and not focusing too much on rigid rules and rigid approaches. But the general rule is three rare rares, okay? And the next one is Rus T, okay? Rus T, let me demonstrate that for you. Rus T. Okay, so don't worry about doing it just exactly like that. I am doing it exactly how the masters have taught it. And there are several masters who have demonstrated it. And there are old recordings you can actually go and listen to. I will put the links down below so that you can listen to other demonstrations. Okay, they're quite old demonstrations, but you can still hear them. And also don't worry about the speed too. You can also do it quite fast as long as you can go to sleep. You can do rusty, rusty. You can do tirerere, tirerere, tirerere. You can do it quite fast if you want. Okay. Personally, I like to do it quite slow. And the last one, similar to the s mantra, it is. And you've already you already know it if you've been following my channel. It is. Oh, oh, as you know, is to do with the heart chakra. So these two are quite powerful. You can experiment with them. The s sound, as you know, is to do with the root chakra. This is sort of awakening kundalini. It releases and transmutes and awakens the powers of the serpent divine mother okay and the o is also opening up this heart chakra which is also good to do as we go to sleep it is good to sleep with the heart so that we are in the center of our consciousness not caught up in dreams outside of the heart but within our permanent center of gravity so just to demonstrate, it goes oh, like the mantra OM, O-M, but just the O, oh, okay? So just some final words of advice. Some people have success with astral projection immediately. Many of you will start having experiences after watching this video and practicing tonight or this week or this month. Others take months, others take years. Patience, willpower, tenacity, and love and desire for all of this knowledge of the unknown is all necessary to cultivate and develop and enjoy the journey going forth with it. Now, some of you may ask, is it really necessary to learn astral projection? Well, I would ask you, is it necessary to be awake of the physical world? of the things around you. Yes, it is, because it is part of your nature, part of your experience to have a physical body in exactly the same way. It is part of your nature to be conscious of the astral body that is within you. It is just in a latent state. And for a third, an entire third of our lives, we are not conscious during our physical body's sleep process. So we are simply not developing a new power. We are not experimenting with something new, but we are remembering something within us, within our consciousness that we already had and that we just didn't realize because we were unconscious to it, okay? So don't worry if you can't do it immediately and just remember that you don't have to think about it so much in the process. Right now, we're thinking, we're analyzing, we're studying, okay? But in the moment, in practice, in practicality, in practical spirituality, you don't think about anything. You just have willpower and faith 
that you will get out of body. Not imagining that you are out of body, okay? You can imagine and see yourself somewhere, but you don't imagine that you're imagining, okay? You simply just come out of body and have full faith without any analytical mind that you will go where you want to go. Leave the uselessness of the intellect behind and just do it. Okay? Now, for Gnostics, the advice for us is, once we are out of body, to go immediately to the Gnostic church in the astral plane, because there we can begin to receive the real teachings of divine wisdom that we can't really receive in the physical plane. Now, I recommend for everyone to do that, okay? The Gnostic church in the inner worlds is open to all people. You don't need to necessarily think of yourself as a Gnostic or identify as a Gnostic, right? Gnosticism is not about beliefs. It is about direct experience. It's not about identifications of the mind. So I recommend for everyone to do that. That is the best thing that you can do for your spiritual journey. Now, if you don't want to do that, then it's better that you ask or intend in whatever way you can whether just with your willpower or with the prayer, that you ask your consciousness to show you what you are meant to know, to show you what you are meant to learn and discover. Because we can have any sort of experience, right? We can have any kind of uh, phantasmal experience that was very interesting and fun. But when you ask for something to learn, then you can have something worth while, and that will add to your growth as an individual, and something that you can integrate in physical waking life when you wake up, okay? I've had experiences where certain guides or masters or beings have told me very specific, very precise information that I have now been able to, and still do, practice in physical waking life. And they give you the information specific to you. Because in the astral plane, we can really see the true colors of people. And other beings can really see who we really are and help us to give us information that is best for us. So I was just about to end the video, but I'm going to end it with just one prayer. And I'm not going to give you a specific prayer. Okay, because when we have a specific prayer with words that we try to memorize and read out, sometimes, not always, but sometimes we just say it mechanically, right? We say it unconsciously. So I, my advice is, if, especially if you've been following this channel and you've been learning about Kundalini, what it really is, right? Kundalini, that power is found in the divine mother of the world, the cosmic divine mother. She is Kundalini. She is the latent serpent powers of our spinal medulla. She is love. She is God. She is an aspect of God. God is both man and woman, right? Man and woman in the most full sense of the spiritual word of what man and woman really means. So my advice is, you can also pray with faith to the Divine Mother Kundalini within you to take you out of body, beseech to her, beg her, plead to her, and with all of your heart and with all of your love to take you out of body. Divine Mother, take me out of my physical body and show me what I need to know. Okay, that's just an example. I don't give you anything rigid because the best prayers are really prayed spontaneously from within our heart center. And it's more about the feelings and the state of consciousness rather than the words that we say. When our love, our devotion, our state of consciousness, our pure intent is all correct, then the words that come out of our heart will be the right ones. Okay, so enjoy practicing and 
Just like the other videos, uh, let me know if you have experiences. I'm always very happy to see when people start having their first experiences. As you know, if you've been uh, following my work, astral projection is something that really showed me uh, the necessity and the urgency to follow this spiritual path. And it's really changed my life and it can change yours, right? To really see that there is more to this life. There is more to this physical body. It's one thing to think it and to speculate it, but to really have that experience is really something else, something valuable that will change your perspective about everything. Okay, so thank you everyone. I'll be waiting in the comments below and good luck.